Hi, I'm Roger Abel. That's Abel, A-B-E-L. And I'd like to welcome you to the class of 64, 45th reunion. We're standing in front of what's left of McKinley Elementary School. And this is the archway that was over the front doors as you entered that school. It's gone but not forgotten by McKinley graduates. You may be asking yourself, why has Roger brought us down on the south end of Ponca City and shown us a school that's torn down? Well, I hope to address that in just a little bit. As we look back through the, the archway, there's a plaque back here that says that there was once a, a grade school and a community of 400 houses, including grocery stores, filling station, and uh, laundry mats. And I've jokingly said in the past that it was Conoco and the Roosevelt overachievers that I could blame for destroying my neighborhood. But, <laughs> but seriously, this is where my participation in the class of 64 all began. This is the origin of the hall person for me. I, uh, I'm sure that all of you, like myself, can re can reflect back on your elementary days, Ponca City, 1950s. And if you do that, you know how much schools like McKinley contributed to your very fiber of, of who you are today. Plainly speaking, that's why I brought you all here today is to honor the contribution that these schools made. Plainly speaking, the elementary schools of Ponca City built your foundation on knowledge and respect and God and country. With this, most of you became good Republicans and some of you took a slight detour and became good Democrats. But we must remember that the, the gift that these schools gave us. Unfortunately, due to changing times, our children, or more appropriately our grandchildren, won't receive and cannot receive the same type of education that we got at schools like McKinley. And thank God that we did. I'm not going to be with you this year at the reunion, and I deeply regret that. But there are some things that you could think about. At your gatherings, which are a great opportunity for a wonderful fellowship and reminiscing with old friends, and I do mean old friends, while we're there, we should, we should mark the place in history. We should also take any opportunity to mark our special place in history. Charles Dickens, that wrote The Tale of Two Cities, that was English literature, grade C minus, said that it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. In a lot of ways, that kind of describes 1963, 1964, and it should not be forgotten. A lot happened that, a lot happened in those two years. Some of it good and some of it not so good. There was the Beatles, but there was Vietnam. There was Mary Poppins. 
the, then there was the Kennedy assassination. 64 Mustangs. But the Cold War. Goldfinger. But the nu nucle nuclear threat. That boy, that's hard to say. Help those that don't know so much about the period of time that that we experienced during our high school years to know what happened then and help them to remember. All right, but foremost, here's wishing you an outstanding, enjoyable, fulfilling Class of 64 reunion. I've got to go now. I'm almost an hour late to do nothing. And I have an all-day appointment tomorrow to not discuss anything. But I, I wished I was going to be with you, but it's just not possible. Anyhow, I hope that you've enjoyed your visit to McKinley School in my neighborhood, and I've enjoyed visiting with you. I couldn't think of any other way to get out of this video, so since Tom is an avid golfer, I thought I would take this opportunity to drive my way out of this video. And I will do I will attempt to do that now. So per Tom's golf lessons, the first thing you have to do is address the ball. Hello, ball. I take care of that. So you want to line up, get real comfortable, and keep your arms straight. Four. Okay, it's been nice visiting with you. Have a good time at the reunion. Go Wildcats, and I hope to see you again soon.